That's all right. We are ready to roll, Katie. Okay. We might, the dish. might try and get a, a little bit ahead of um, all these other crazy loons. Especially good grey nomads. <laughs> Mascot, mate. Who's that? This is Barone. And a good Ames. Name. And Ames. Hi Ames guys. the Amy. All right. Welcome back to this week's episode. Our journey continues to Uluru. Yes. Woohoo! Ah, <laughs> Snap. Okay. We have got the first leg today, which is day four for us, is to Broken Hill. We love Broken Hill. Mm. We've got a, a pretty solid history there of work over the years. Yes. And to go back and catch up with a few different friends as well. But we're going to show you probably the 10 main things that you can do when you get to Broken Hill. And then you can choose from those because we'll only be there for a couple of nights. Yep. And there's so much to do. It is unbelievable how much there is to do. You will easily fill your days in Broken Hill. Most people we speak to underestimate how good Broken Hill is. So yep. that's just a quick tip. Yes. 460 kilometres down the track from here in Cova. How mm -hmm. good was this? Oh, this as a station camp? is amazing. Yeah. Everything about the environment, the bush, the colour of the dirt. Hey, Jasper, the red dirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's already starting to sink into the skin. Yeah. All right, let's hit the road. A pretty, I guess, weather-wise, pretty calm day. It's oh. it's a little bit grey, but there's no rain expected, so oh. nice and cool. It's a pretty good, good drive, too, now. Like, we have we seem to have done all mm. of the windy and up over the Great Dividing Range, so should be mostly flat there's actually a pub that we're going to try and stop at oh yes that we left a hat there last time i can't even remember what the hat was but anyway we'll yeah, see if it's still house. there all right oh gosh i can't even remember what it's called anyway here we we'll go figure it out little kenya broken <laughs> hill and then we'll see you there awesome Disappears. Okay, we are at the Amp Pole in Cobar, and it is two dollars and two point nine cents per liter. Let me check, and that is for premium diesel. So we've come down seven cents. Yes, one for the good guys. Uh, and I'm interested to see what it is as we go through Will Kenya. We'll see what the fuel is there, and then in Broken Hill, I'm sure we'll fill up there as well. We've still got over a half a tank of fuel, but again. On these sort of longer drive days, it's always good to have a full tank, isn't it? And it also settles the vehicle, having the weight there as well. All right, we are good to go. Yep, let's do it. Woohoo! How you doing? G'day, getting a good shot of your car. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Awesome. The Shitbox Rally, $1,500. That's the most you can spend, right? That's exactly right. Wow. So this was 550 bucks. Excellent, and then you had to do a bit of work on the motor? 
No, no, well, a little bit, not too much. Yeah. Water pump, new surf line valve, bit for service. Fantastic. And you guys are raising money for the Cancer Council yeah. Australia? Yep. How much have you raised so far? Uh, we've raised about nine and a half grand. Wow, okay. And then collectively, I hear you've raised over $2 million already. Yeah, I think it's about 2.1 at the Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, and you started in Newcastle. You're heading to Townsville. Yep. What are you doing out here in Cobar if you're heading to Townsville? Uh, we're going tonight. We're heading for Pack Saddle. Then after that, we'll be in a minka. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys, well done. This is an amazing cause. and. You look in the part, you look great. I'm a clown. There you go. <laughs> yeah, my dad says you're a clown. <laughs> look at this. Fantastic. How many people in the actual rally? 250 cars. So Holy there's two, two people per car, plus yep. another, um, how many support staff is it? 15, 16 support vehicles with yeah. trailers. And, yeah. yeah, and tools. Yep. Yeah. And filters. And <laughs> a lot of car trailers to yeah. the dead ones. <laughs> well, good on you guys. Yeah, we'll get going. Well done. Yeah, great Cheers, mate. You know the one. I'll put it in the uh, the title there. Mm. Yes, the rally. I know we've met quite a lot of these guys well, and awesome, and girls, like girls and yeah. guys dressed like girls and yeah. girls dressed I mean, like guys. Anything goes, right? When you when you're raising money for charity. I think the crazier the better. We've just loved watching them go past. Mm. They've all been so lovely too, chatting to Jasper through the window and yeah, telling me their stories when I've gone over and asked for photos. Give them a wave, Jasper. Okay, the Scottish guys. Anybody else? Yep, here comes a few. Well, there's 250. Healthy, lovely sandwiches. A healthy, lovely sandwich, yes. Another go to on the travel days. Yes, thank you, Mum. Yeah, welcome. Awesome. All right, our next stop is Will Canyon. We might make it out before all of the. Uh, S bomb Valley. There's even been Dad, there's been ones that have been pulling out already. Mm -hmm. Last time we were here, I remember I went to lift the Bowser off the fuel and it had a lock on it. So it's pretty wild out here in the west. Uh, yeah, look, mate, you gotta pay before you fill. And the guy actually comes out and unlocks it and does it and then locks it back up. So they must have a few drive throughs. I, I mean <laughs> It's like hundreds of kilometres to anywhere, so I don't know. You'd want to uh, steal a lot of fuel to try and get away, I guess. Okay, quick one. We had to do the copy for tonight's episode. Starlink to the rescue. Oh my gosh, they weren't called the A-Team, they were called the B-Team, so good. But how's this, right, we set up our Starlink, boom, Jasper's down there. He's loving it, how good is this? So there you go, so anyway, it's so good, we just love it, being able to be out here in the middle of nowhere, it really is. I oh mean, my God, Starlink to the rescue. Starlink to the rescue. No episode. No, we got it all done, which is good, so, and that was actually what I'm talking about is last week's episode, because we're in real time at the moment, boom, 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 so, uh, yeah, a little bit of chasing our tail to get the apps done and edited and, and up, that's okay, we're catching up now, so it's pretty cool. All right, we'll this. get on the road. Yeah. This, this is a little bit of washing. 
dusty <laughs> clothes full of prickles from the last place we stayed that need uh, good shaking out. That's all right. We are ready to roll, Katie. We might, might try and get a, a little bit ahead of all these other crazy loons. Especially the grey nomads. <laughs> You don't have that one. Would you like one of these? I'm choosing. Okay. G'day, Peter. How are G'day. you? I'm Hello. Paul. You want my story? Mate, we'd love to hear your story. I mean, we're, we're at the little Topa Roadhouse. Yeah, which is uh, about 78 kilometres out of Broken Hill, so I've walked 24 hours this distance, and then I'll walk up to Burke. And I'm just raising, doing it quietly to raise money for... Big Sky Stories, which is supporting the Little Tackers literacy books and you know local relevant stuff to the Australian Outback. Out, outback wow. Stories for Outback Kids, I should should say. And so it's a good idea. So I, I'm no good at raising money, so I thought I'd give them a hand to, to, to do it. And so you thought you'd walk. Mate, I've just driven from Wilcannia. And that was a long drive. I mean, you're going to walk all the way to Burke. That's unbelievable. Yeah, so I'll walk to Wilcannia, yeah. rest there for a while, and then go to Tilpa, Louth, and Burke. So it's a standard skateboard with a slightly wider truck and slightly bigger off-road reels. I'm blown away. I don't know what to say. This is your, your camp gear, I guess, on this yeah, side? Yeah, and the stream design camp chair. Okay. Then that dry sack there is for emergency shoes okay you need emergency gear the other side is um trying out an outsized ridiculous ld onesie for the gold an ld onesie it's wow I, I, I enjoy it, it makes mate me... you need to get sponsored by ld you're out here promoting their onesies oh, i mean oh. it's going to get bloody cold i saw the weather report oh yes yeah, so, so my strategy is to sleep when it's hot, walk when it's cold. Okay. So you, you, you do it. Oh my gosh, there. mate! Are you, is it is it dangerous at all though? Walk, walking on the, the the highway here like that? Um, uh, I, I don't think so. You can see truck lights from fifty kilometres away. Okay. They can't see you. No. So you just you got to. That's fifty kilometres is a fair amount of time yeah, to be able to so get so out the way. Doing. Well, mate, good on you. I think it's it's an amazing thing to do to to want to raise money but to to do something that is oh, as yeah. crazy as this well, i think yes. it's remarkable well done i think, think it's crazy first and then some people have tacked on raising money yeah afterwards i'm not that good at raising money that reminds me i have to yeah put your uh, your contribution in or i'll forget so if i can get your yeah your sure name, i will i'll give you that and i'll um i'll take some down down some details i'll let people know how they can support you peter Right. Dr. Peter Hill, quantum scientist, walking extraordinaire. The journey's broken hill to Burke, one step at a time for big sky stories. Wow, mate. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet you, Peter. All right, thanks a lot. Cheers.
perfect. Yamo, turn this off. Yep, I'm ready. Come and have a look at this pizza, Katie. Oh yeah, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, Oops. I shall okay. cut and I'll be back. <laughs> All right, it is super hot. Whew. Another go to on travel. Travels. Yeah. A pizza. How good are the pizzas? Love it. So you can get that going. There's rocket on the table as well. Oh, I may slip. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning. And it is an absolute ripper of a morning. Oh, so beautiful. Here we are. Look, the living desert. This place is awesome. We've stayed here many times. A couple of nights... Uh, Look, there are caravan parks in Broken Hill, and we can recommend both of those. We've mm -hmm. stayed at them both. Yep. Uh, there's also the Broken Hill Resort, which is probably about eight kilometres outside of town if you're coming from the northwest. Mm, oh, and as far as like a powered caravan park with lush green sites and all of the facilities and amenities, that looks amazing actually, doesn't it? Yeah, we haven't stayed there. It, it's unexpected, I think. Yeah. It, it really is a resort. And then... Our absolute choice, though, is to come here to the Living Desert because it is off-grid, unpowered, although there are some wonderful amenities that include hot showers, free hot gas barbecues, covered eating areas. It's fully bitumen, so you can level up really easy, and you can also get access to rainwater if you need it. Mm -hmm. And it's called the Starview Primitive Campsite, and that is because when you're out here, the stars are just amazing and epic, and the rangers have actually created this little communal area with what they call stargazing beds so you can you know grab a glass of wine go and sit out there of a night time and just take in this epic environment four it's amazing. billion stars mm. we counted them now it's not just for rvs there is also a dedicated area for people who are in their tents or swags it is basically a wood chipped area that is a beautiful flat surface and there's also dedicated barbecues over there and again the bathroom facilities are in between both campgrounds mm. and a pull-in space if you're in a really big rig so they they cater for everyone which is so awesome now you do have to book we yeah. literally got the last site so yes. Uh, on the booking that is a couple of people rocked in after us but i think in total there are 15 dedicated sites for rvs yeah and so you'll find the campground on the wiki camps app yeah. but also through the broken hill council website as well and you can just book online it's really easy you do have to pay a fee per person to come into the living desert state park you only pay that once so you can include that with the campground fees mm -hmm. but it's still really reasonable i think it's still for us it still came in under what we would pay on average for a hip camp anyway so it's so yeah good. under 50 dollars. Yeah. so really fantastic and then you've got access to the sculptures, uh, I mean, it is stunning. I will put some amazing footage that we captured, drone footage. We, we were given, uh, I guess, access to be allowed to fly a drone. You generally are not allowed to fly a drone in here, uh, but we wrote and got permission. And so we'll show you some of the footage around the sculptures. And also I'll include a star lapse at the end of this as well. So amazing. It's such a great place to come and camp. Mm. You're close enough to Broken Hill to be able to go in and access all of the incredible, you know, experiences and, of course, the amenities, grocery stores and things like that. But yep. you're so far removed. It is so quiet and peaceful out here. And there's a number of different walks that you can do as well. And plenty of wildlife because mm. it really is a sanctuary. So they really protect the environment out here. Uh, so it is just pristine. You'll love it. Yep. All right, let's talk about 
broken heel. Now Oof, we made notes. <laughs> we're really in here for one day and two nights, uh, but we have done a dedicated episode to this and also Silverton, mm-hmm. which is another incredible destination to visit. Just on oh, probably 30, 40 minutes outside of Broken Hill. Yeah. But what we've decided to do is give you our top ten in a fast flash minute or two. Yeah. Uh, just a sentence on each. We've made lots of notes. Well, we have. Uh, if you want the real detail, the description for that episode is in the uh, the link. Sorry, is in the description show notes, so you can check that out, yeah. and you can go to both those episodes. It was episode eighty one and eighty two, so a hundred weeks ago basically yeah. that we were last here incredible oh wow jasper was yep. so little <laughs> okay we say broken hill expect the unexpected there is just so much to do here and you can pick and choose your experiences yep. if you had more time of course you'd tick them all off your list like we did last time we visited look in a perfect world you'd have five nights here mm-hmm. or you know a week yep. and you'd really get the whole experience there are over 65 visitor experiences here to choose from we're going to give you just 10 of those that we think are probably the real highlights in its heyday broken hill had 75 pubs now some of those are still standing and we're going to mention a couple of them because they are incredible but a really great starting point would be to go to the broken hill pub oh this pub has had a five million dollar upgrade and it's a great place to pull up have a pint Go to the Visitor Information Centre yeah. and grab yourself a touring map mm. and you can also get one of these living desert maps and then that will set you off in the right direction. Yeah, awesome. All right, so here's our top ten. We do have notes so we don't miss anything. The number one, Broken Hill Regional Art Gallery. It mm. has over 2,000 pieces of art on display, including the famous Brushman of the Bush. So good. And from that, you mm. could then go to Pro Art Gallery, of course, probably yeah. the most famous Australian bush artist. Get a selfie with one of his painted Rolls Royce, mm-hmm. and if you're lucky, you might get to meet his son, John, who is also uh, an incredible artist in his own right. Yes. Okay. If you love the movie Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, then you have to stop into the Palace Hotel. You could even stay a night in the Priscilla Suite. They have so many fun things going on here, and the the hotel itself is a piece of art. There's drag queen karaoke, <laughs> tour, love it. and every year they have the annual Broken Heel Festival. See what they did there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next is Silverton. We mentioned that it is such an iconic outback location where loads of films have been set. In fact, there is a museum to Mad Max run by Adrian and Linda Bennett. They're two mates of ours. If you go there, tell them that the feel good sent you. (laughs) Grab a pint at the pub next door. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Or if you're lucky enough, you can stay out there on one of the station stays and do a sunset tour by Camelback. We love that. That was amazing. Yes. And go and see Monday Monday or go and go to the Monday Monday Bash as well. Yes. Okay, the line of load. I mean, you can't miss this as you're driving into Broken Hill. Do yourself a favour, drive up the top. There is a cafe. You can look out over the entire city. There's also a memorial up there, which is really beautifully done and remembers the lives of over 800 miners that have lost their lives Dangerous in this work. industry. All right. This actually is our number one. These weren't in any order, but if you've only got to do one experience, we would say go to the Royal Flying Doctor service out at the Broken Hill Airport. This is incredible. It is a free service provided for all Australians. It is remarkable what these guys do. Uh, We'll just throw to a little note here from Jasper. You can help the Royal Flying Doctors by donating money. Yeah, love it. How little is he there? All right, so such uh, an incredible charity to support. We would recommend that you do jump online or if you're in town, go out there, do the tour. It's interactive, it's informative, it's an incredible story mm. and you can also pick up some souvenirs and it's help support them. free service for all Australians. Yeah, it's amazing. How amazing. Okay, Daydream Mine. This is so unique. It is one of the oldest mines that you can still access. In fact, from memory, this mine is older than the township of Broken Hill mm. itself. Go out and do a tour. They're famously known for their morning tea, their uh, billy tea and their scones. So go and sit on the deck and overlook that incredible environment. This is an authentic outback experience like nothing else. (laughs) And we loved it there. And I got jelly legs down there, you know, but... (laughs) Look, it's it's so old world that you feel like, oh, God, it's a bit nervy down here, but it's incredible. It's it, worth doing. Yeah, it is amazing. Okay, we've got the Living Desert Sunset Sculptures. We're looking across mm. to them now. Some incredible footage there to share with you. Go at sunset, 
take a glass of wine or a, your favourite beverage, a little cheese platter. Yes. You, you will love this. It'll be a highlight of your time. Yeah, the landscape is absolutely amazing. And lastly, Bell's Milk Bar. Okay, now this is fantastic. It's actually Australia's oldest continuous operating milk bar. That's a lot of milkshakes, isn't it? Opened in 1892. <laughs> What's so cool about this place is that you literally step back in time when you yep. walk in. It is in its original decor, the furnishings. They've even got like a little walk throughout the back where they've got all of the um, vintage, you know, homewares and appliances. and so It's like a film set it from, is. The, from the 50s, basically. Yeah. And they make, what does it say here? Um, Spiders. I can't remember how Over many recipes. Over 55 recipes, I believe, yeah. Yeah, the, the original milkshakes and spiders. and So it's good fun to go and, you know, have something to drink and check out all the old school, the stuff that's cool again, right? <laughs> okay, so there it is. They're our top 10 that we would recommend that you yeah. pick and choose from if you're here for a couple of days or if you can stay a week, do the whole lot. Yes. All right. We are now going to be going packing up and hitting the road and heading <sighs> down to South Australia. Oh, my gosh. I know, down to Peterborough. A wonderful little township with rich history mm -hmm. around trains. So Jasper is excited about this as yes. well. I'm excited about I crossing the border. I love <laughs> yeah, he loves Peterborough. Okay, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and that way you will not miss a thing. Thank you so much for your support. All right, let's do it. Bye. I'll show you the campground from up here on this view. It looks good, doesn't it? Cheers, yes, Good that's morning. right. Good morning. Mm. Beautiful morning. Oh, hot coffee. I love it. Okay, let's tell you what we're doing. Peterborough is just shy of 300 kilometres from the Broken Hill. We're crossing the border, Jasper, into South Australia. Woo! I know. We're crossing well, the borders again. Yeah, well on our way. Okay, we do have to stop into Broken Hill on the way out yes. because our GoPro batteries are playing up. I mean, they're, they're getting on. They're a good two or three years old so yeah anyway they get used every day so fair exactly enough. so if we we rang ahead and ordered them a couple of days ago and so we're going to go and pick the only two gopro batteries left in town yes and i need to just quickly grab some fresh produce and it's kate and my anniversary oh happy anniversary yes happy Joel. anniversary we've said happy anniversary to each other but we don't have anything for each other so we've decided to give each other a gopro oh, battery post office don't let me forget that either i've got to go to the post office we do and we'll Not talk for about a present for you but well uh, kind of is we'll talk about post as well and how we get that mm. while we're traveling on the road yes because it is quite easy to do everything's easy when you know how it is. That's it, right? 300 kilometres. Awesome. It's going to be a beautiful drive today. Bless this you, chicken drive nugget. Drive to Peterborough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. All the route, here we come. Woohoo! hardware that's right all your hardware needs and broken hill thank god they're here because i've got a bit of a random one for you so i was filling the diesel heater up with fuel getting it ready for the cool nights that are expected this next week or so and i dropped the the yellow nozzle on the end of the jerry can into the actual diesel heater tank i cannot believe it Bit of a crazy one, but do you think I can get it out? Not a chance. I've tried everything. We even tried a walking stick, didn't we, Jasper? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, I tried tongs, they couldn't reach. So I've come and found this wire. 
I've, I've got a little bit actually in the truck, but nothing that was again long enough. So we're gonna jimmy up something. Hopefully the next scene you see is us celebrating me getting that out. I don't think it can harm anything because it's it's in the actual fuel tank, but, but better to get it out and that not cause us a problem down the track. All right, wish me luck. Ready to go? Okay, amp pole in Broken Hill. All right, this is $1.91.9. So in the Battle of the Bowser, Broken Hill is winning. Which is what we expected actually. From memory, I knew that it was gonna be the one place that will be cheaper, so. And a lot cheaper, really. Like it's, what, 17, 18 cents cheaper than our last fuel stop, or the stop for that. So it's, it's pretty good. Just under half a tank, so we will fill up a fair whack here. I want to give you an update on the GoPro batteries, the anniversary present. Yeah, it <laughs> fell through, so <sighs> crazy stuff. You know, we waited around an extra hour this morning to get to this um, place that opened at 9 a.m. And the batteries are basically in the wrong container, so they weren't even GoPro batteries. And so this is the way it goes. So there you go, first world problem for today. No GoPro batteries in Broken Hill. We actually have five batteries, two of them are iffy, so the three we have will just require better management. Right, Katie? Yes, righto. That can be my present to you for our anniversary. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, there we go. All right, and we're about to go to the post office, so we'll show you how we do that. Let's do it. Okay. Comes the mama. Hey, hey. Okay, job done. Post. <laughs> yes. Good stuff. What are you doing in the back there? Hunty, I'm doing math seeds, school and reading eggs. Oh, ah, very good. That's C. He's a good boy. It's a good tip. He gets to get the iPad still. Yeah. <laughs> but at school. Yes, reading eggs. It's amazing, actually. Um, postage. Let's talk that quickly because we do get loads of questions about it. Mm -hmm. And it's super easy with Australia Post. Um, they've got a great app that you can download, set up an Oz Post, I think it's called, uh -huh. set up a My Post account, and then you can basically get anything delivered to just about any post office anywhere around the country. We have been so remote, haven't we, Paul, and had parcels delivered. Um, you can also choose if they're available, the parcel lockers. So we've actually got a heap of stuff going to the parcel lockers in Alice Springs to pick up as well and they're really easy you just get a code sent to you and you can go and collect that at any time it doesn't have to be within the post office hours which is really good look the alice springs one is oh my god that it's an experience mega. yeah it there there is i don't know there'd be four Hundreds. or five hundred of them yes yeah. last time we were there the line to collect from the post office the parcel post was so long we rocked up i was like oh my gosh we're going to be here for hours so they've got hundreds of parcel lockers there so we've done that this time as well but it's so easy and it's it's so good to be able to do it i mean we get parcels every month everywhere around australia yeah and we've never had any issues so yeah great all right awesome let's hit the road jack <sighs> yes let's Eight do it minus three equals five Okay, Boy. very good. Good to know. Thank God he got that right. That could have gone <laughs> bad. All right, let's do it. Here Yay. we go. Yay, South Australia. Oh, by the way, just there is Bell's Milk Bar. Yes. Oldest continuous milk bar in Australia. We talked about that. Go get yourself a good old-fashioned Aussie milkshake or a spider. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's do it.
progress. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think we're pretty clear. Ice cream. Wow. Look at this place. I wonder if it's even open. Let's go. Let's see. Coffee and cake. Hmm. Let's try the other door. Please use the other door. Huh. Hmm. Okay, I think that this place may be shut in 1924. Thanks for opening up for us, Di. You're welcome. Just turn the lights on for Jasper. Whoa, Dad. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're welcome. That is wonderful. What a gift, eh? Hey? And this is the exactly same ball that Uncle Chris had, but it was just a smidge bigger. Well, yeah. It smidge yeah. Bigger? Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Di. Well, I'm glad we stopped and we got to meet you and check out your museum and Manor Hill. She loves trains. No way. She's a steamy fan. Really? Yes. She has steam trains all around. And Are you serious? And where did this come from? She gave that to me. That's awesome. Do the and we also got... You lucky dog. That's cool. I love the colour. Quarantine checkpoint. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know how, how many, many times. How many times have we done this? How much did you just spend at Broken Hill, Woolworths? Oh, look, I didn't have to get rid of everything, which is amazing. But um, I oh, just saw the size, of, the size of his bag. Look, here he comes. Yeah. I'll um, I'll video his bag. Um, but that's just unbelievable. How much they'll, was it? They'll be waiting. There's people behind us. They'll yeah. be waiting. I don't okay. know. Um, they'll be yeah. Thanks, mate. Look at the size of that bag. That's not all my stuff, just FYI. There's some from the people before us, but... You um, can't break the rules. I mean, it... Well, the, you can't in a quarantine stop like this, either. Like, there's no getting around it. Oh, yeah. look, really, really. Yeah. Where? Anyway. Can you see, Jasper? Oh. <laughs> um, so what yeah. did you have to get rid of? So, fruit. Um, so I'd bought a beautiful bag of grapes this morning. They they had to go. Um, zucchinis had to go. That's not a bad thing, is it? Oh, I'm kidding. kidding. I'm kidding. Um, the corn was fine. Broccoli was fine. Mushrooms were oh, fine. Oh, good. They're my three favourites. The capsicum favorites. had to go. That's right. They can go. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Phew. Really. I don't like them. Oh, they're good on pizza. Okay, um, look. Stuff. Just take our rookie mistake oh. and don't make it yours because you to me, it's you know a we waste of money. We do know. Do we know you're here? This is yeah. the third time and we've I driven said, through here. Do you know what? I said we're racing through the state to the Northern Territory, and I just didn't think about it at all. All I was thinking about was I need to buy food so that we've got food for the next few days. Now we're going to stop. No, I didn't say that. Anyway, you, but... if you are anywhere near this checkpoint, there is a mm. massive veggie stir fry being cooked at the station tonight. I reckon he is going to go nuts on that bag of grapes. He runs a, I even threw he runs a market out. back in Broken Hill on the weekends <laughs> and sells fresh produce. Half price. I was like, 
eaten as many grapes as I can, Jasper, before I put my bag in his bag. It's, there's a sign there and it says you are not allowed to consume them. They have to be confiscated. You didn't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peterborough. We've got literally, we are 10 kilometers from our destination. Ashley, you mean 24? We are 24 kilometers. Good spotting, Jasper. Thank you, mate. We're turning off oh, the, we're the turning, highway in yeah. 10 kilometers. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Nothing like being corrected by your six year old, is it? Backseat driver, does. Anyway, he hears all and knows all. Alright, let's get on the road. Bye. So annoying. There we go. Black man. <laughs> Gotta give him jobs. Alright, Peterborough. This is the home of Steamtown and all that rich history of the Australian rail industry. It is so worth stopping overnight here. We're going to camp at a free camp just at the, uh, it's like the old cricket ground, just up the road, which is exactly opposite Steamtown. So we'll talk to you about that. All right. We remembered, because we've been here before, that they've got a really great potable water tap here about 300 metres from where we're actually camping. And you can see that it's potable because there's a sign there and somebody's gone and inked on it, drinkable. Which means there's no confusion. <laughs> the thing that all, always uh, surprises us is, is how close these things are sometimes to the toilet block or to the dump easy. You know, you always feel a little bit uneasy. Uh, but there is a dump easy right here as well. Fantastic. So we're going to fill up our drinking tank. We're going to fill up our tank one. Uh, and we're also going to actually fill up tank two, and so we're going to do a few loads of washing and get ourselves sorted before we start to head further up the centre of South Australia, up to Woomera. Tomorrow, I think we're heading to Lake Hart, but we're going to share with you the Steamtown experience. So we'll put some of that footage in because it is one of the best night experiences that we have ever done and is well worth it. That's the water letting me know I've got to swap tanks. All right. I'll give you all money. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family and happy trails. Okay, get the colour down, don't look like the Fonzie. Hey, hey, I'm a Fonz. There we go. What are you doing? You want to put the iPad down for a minute?
Could Did I you see the face that I just got? <laughs> put, well, put the iPad down for a minute so that we can do this piece. It's only a short piece. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Come here. <laughs> I'll pass it back to you in a minute, okay? It's yeah. not. It's still there. It hasn't disappeared. Good morning. Good morning, Jasper Rooney. And good morning, good morning from the top of the living <laughs> desert. Well. <laughs> That way. You can rehearse these things, can't you? Okay. Oh, sorry. Can you guys come back? The camera got caught on the tree. <laughs> so, the camera here, you have to limbo. Or limbo like this. <laughs> okay, go. Love you, bye. See ya. Bye. I just get us organised to get out of here. But yeah. Great. A woman's work is never done. Never. Ah, well. This is the iconic Australian Milo chin. So if you want to raise money, uh, yes, everyone understands, but that's the Milo chin. It's a different story. The Aussies know that's the way you do it. <laughs> that's the way to do it. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Yep. Well done. There's also a dump point e here, which is a dump easy, which makes us always go, uh, hang on a second, it's... Yeah. Oh, and um, one thing, Sonic 3 is coming out in 2024. I don't know what day. Um, I don't know, but I do know that it's going to be exciting. <laughs>